What's up guys, I got some big Dreamcast news for you. Those who don't know, the Dreamcast community has been absolutely thriving. The console has a cult following to this day. Everybody wants Sega to release the Dreamcast 2. They never will, but we all want it. We freaking demand it. They won't do it, so the community has been taken over and thriving. And they've been creating indie games for the Dreamcast for the last, you know, five years. This has been going on, but it's really picking up. The games have gotten better and better and better. And uh, the community still has, you know, the Fantasy Star Online server is going. One of the greatest games ever made. Um, but it's it's really taken off. Uh, two, two pieces of, of news to go through. Uh, first really cool piece of news is that the uh, the dang 100% perfect PC port of Doom for the Dreamcast that was previously uh, fan ported. Uh, there is going to be an updated version coming out that will allow it to be played uh, with uh, online against PC players of the same game. Now the community for the, the uh, online Doom uh, gaming is rather small but this is you know a step in the right direction and it shows just how much support for the dreamcast there is out there so you will need a new modded version of the existing uh, dc doom game which will be coming out soon uh, of note uh, it is interesting to know that there are people still playing ooga booga online um, that is one of the best multi Four player multiplayer party games for the Dreamcast, so check that one out. In other news, a game called Okinawa Rush was recently uh kicks had a successful Kickstarter. How much did they raise? It it, it doesn't matter how much they raised. They raised ten thousand pounds, which is about twenty thousand US, just made the ten thousand a dollar ten thousand pound goal so it's obviously a company based out of the uk check out this trailer uh this is basically he's calling it a platform slash fighting game with rpg elements but what i think he means is a platforming beat-em-up based on uh what, what what we can see here it is multiplayer couch local co-op uh he did not it sounds like it will not have online co-op capability which in my opinion is great so here is a uh, GIF or GIF showing uh, the two-player compatibility. He says uh, it will be local co-op mode, engaging in co-op combos to defeat enemies, some other features. It's boss battles, high scores, uploaded to the website, secret areas, Easter eggs, a lot of mysteries to discover, all the things that make a great uh, beat-em-up and a great player co-op game so this congrats to this guy for being successful this game here i mean this this is something that could be easily uh put on something like steam or even hell even the ps4 and the nintendo switch it's pretty high quality i'm amazed that this is getting put on the dreamcast as opposed to going big and trying to go one step further and beyond but you know maybe maybe steam is next um after the success here but anyways guys uh just know that the dreamcast is not dead it's still going and maybe one day sega will finally make the dreamcast 2 signing out